What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Natalie and this is episode 14 of the Minish Cap series. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope your weather's nice and fresh. Thank you for joining me in today's video. Thank you for all the support that you guys have been showing me. You guys are awesome and I'm really appreciative of all the support. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And in the last episode, what we did is we actually went to go to the Royal Valley. We went to go see King Gustav, which is one of the previous kings of Hyrule. He's a spirit now. And we got a special kinstone, gold kinstone from him to get to the fifth dungeon, which is gonna be in Vale Falls. So we're gonna go ahead over there and make our way over to the next dungeon. So let's go ahead and get started. So meeting a dead king means he must have had unfinished business in the world of the living. He seemed awfully polite for a ghost. I expected spookier, I suppose. What do you suppose he meant by all that source of the flow business? Alright, so what we're gonna start off by doing is we're actually gonna go check to see if anybody wants to fuse, whether it's here in Hyrotan or somewhere in Hyrule. We're gonna go ahead and check out who wants to fuse before we make our way to the next dungeon? Okay, so as you guys saw, we did fuse with two people so far, which was Wade Blade and Grim Blade. And one of them opened up the waterfall in Vale Falls, and the other one opened up another waterfall that is... I don't even know where that one was. It was like... It was like another waterfall, but I don't know exactly where it was. Obviously, somewhere in Hyrule, but um... Really quick before I continue, I want to give another shout out to Chuck Hackett again. Thank you for the comment. They left me a comment saying that we should come and talk to the Swordmaster or the Swordsman in Hyrule Town because he does in fact sometimes teach you new skills. So we do need to come and check in on him. So like right now he's saying, ah, new sword. Fantastic. And you seem to have acquired new skills with it. Yes, I am ready to train you again, young Swordsman. So thank you again to Chuck Hackett because I totally forgot about that too, but um, Chuck is definitely helping me out here by commenting these things because again, I just would have been not getting these skills at all. So thank you again to Chuck. Shout out to you. Let's go ahead and learn this new skill. So I will now teach you the technique called the rock breaker. So pay attention. Oh my gosh. Yes. Thank you, Chuck. I should have done this early. I wish I would have um, done this earlier because this is well actually i think what do do i need to wait until the water element to be able to get a new skill because he says that i have a new sword so i assume oh what if it was the time when we fused our sword with the earth and fire element so after you infused your sword with the the earth and fire element is probably when we were gonna get the skill so i should have been checking them but just really appreciative of chuck to chuck thank you so much again first swing your sword to break pots Actually, that's all there is, young swordsman. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. Yes, ha, huh? good. If you had said you didn't understand, I would have serious doubts about you. Yes, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as so as to demonstrate the technique. And then, yeah, he's going to do the same thing. Yes, this would have come in handy so much sooner. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> Now you must try it for yourself. Break the pots with your sword, that is all. I actually, 
remember getting this technique but i thought we were gonna get it at another swordsman so i thought we just had to continue finding newer swordsmen like um gray blade and wave blade and stuff yes fine work fantastic and he's giving us a tiger scroll we got the rock breaker technique shatter pots and pulverize boulders with a single blow oh that's so awesome i like that they have this mechanic in this game too because uh they should totally add that in the breath of the wild one where you could just learn the skill to break rocks and pots with your well you can break pots with your sword already but um rocks would be pretty cool to be able to crush them and destroy them with your sword ah yes yes you have the pegasus boots and you seem to have more skills too oh so it's not just having a new sword it's <gasps> Oh, thank you again to Chuck Hackett. Yes, I am ready to train you, so you like to train? Yes. You will now learn into a new technique called the dash attack. Equip the Pegasus boots. Second, equip your sword. Run like crazy. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? I understand. So let's go ahead and see his example. Just equip your sword and then, okay, and then, but one must feel the technique. Okay, so yeah, he's going to do that show us how to do it and then we're gonna do it for ourselves yeah there we go whoops oh i didn't mean to bring out my lantern yes there we go perfect you learn quickly okay so he's giving us another tiger scroll oh my gosh i am like just so appreciative of the help Thank you guys so much for helping me. It's really appreciated. All right, so is that going to be all that we need to learn from this guy? Let's check again. So come again when you can jump farther than any other. Okay, so that's probably going to be after we finish the next dungeon. All right, so now that we're done with that, um, I've been waiting a few episodes just to make sure that people can get their comments out and get their opinions to me. Um, because I did ask you guys in a previous episode when we did Fuse with Faror in the inn, and she made this guy appear and he's gonna sell his house or like rent his house to somebody who wants it so we're gonna go ahead and go talk to Nehru because the majority of you that i saw in the comments voted for Nehru so we're gonna go ahead and give this house to her oh she wants to fuse too perfect And she made a butterfly appear in the Royal Valley. Interesting. She wants to fuse too. Okay, so she also made a butterfly appear in Caster Wild. And then she also wanted to fuse. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many fusions so far. And she also made a butterfly appear in the Wind Ruins, but still near Castor and Wilds. Okay, so Nehru it is. You're gonna get the first house. Oh, you have a house to show me? Yes, I do, ma'am. Really? Thanks! I want to go see it right away. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this guy over here. I think she's actually gonna already be moved in. And then he's gonna be wandering around. Yeah, so she's already moved in. You can see her little clothes here. Let's go check it out. Oh, hello, Link. I do love it here. Thanks again. If you have an empty bottle, I can put one of my homemade charms inside. Just ask anytime. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a charm just to check it out and show you guys. So we got Nehru's charm. Your guard will be strengthened for a while. And yes, it's just similar to um, one of the other games, Ocarina of Time, where you do get those little like diamond things from one from each great fairy and it's associated with each um, goddess. So Faror, Nehru, and Den and depending on which one you get so i know that there's one that's dense and you can have a force field of fire around you and you like burn enemies and stuff oh hello and then nehru's is it 
does something similar to this one where um, you get like a a shield around you for a temporary amount of time and then Far Wars is like I don't remember what Far Wars does but if you guys remember in the comments let me know I'm really really motivated now I could probably build a good sized house in a matter of minutes and that's exactly what he's going to do so we can go check him out right there and this guy is actually here now so let's talk to him I'll build here I think yeah, so he's gonna pretty much tear down that Minish house, and he's just gonna... Yeah, he just tore down Minish house! He just made that Minish homeless. Poor little Minish. Okay, so he's just st still saying that he'll build there. And I think it's gonna take a little... Oh, oh, no, I guess I guess he just works that fast. Nice house, huh, kid? It's brand spanking new, I tell ya. But I just need another tenant, a single woman like before. Well, if you know any nice young ladies needing a home, let me know. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have you guys vote again on which of the two remaining girls do you want to have this house? And who who are you gonna leave homeless? So, who do you want to move into this house? Is it Den or Faror? Let me know in the comments. And we'll get that done as soon as I get a few votes. Let's go ahead and continue on our way. So I think now... Okay, so now I think we're done pretty much because I did check around and stuff. We're not going to get any of the chests yet because that's going to take a while. Again, we're just going to continue moving forward now with the mission, which is to get to the next dungeon. And we're going to go ahead and head up here to... Veil Falls because this is where that door is located that I was telling you about and that Gustav gave us the kinstone for. Also, is there an easier way to kill these guys? I think there is once you get a certain item buff at the moment. Can I shoot them? I know that you could kill them with the bombs once they like drop their bomb. Yeah, so once they drop their bomb, you could go ahead and place a bomb there and kill them like that, but there's such a, an annoying thing. Okay, so since we're here at Veil vale Falls, we could go ahead and go into this cave. Yeah, so that one's one of the new things that appeared when we fused today. So let's go ahead and hit in here since, um, obviously... Ooh, it's another swordsman. Okay, perfect. Hello, sir. The spirit and the sword are one. I am nearly the best swordsman in Hyrule. Split, split blade. So let's go ahead and train with him. Hmm, now I will teach you how to fill your split gauge faster than ever. I take visualization training very seriously, I'll have you know. So yeah, you're gonna visualize your body splitting even faster than ever before. Woo! Splitting. Okay, so now you will fill your split gauge much faster, my student. This is the truth of the sword. And truth is almost the exact opposite of not truth. Commit yourself to the blade. This is it! Your split gauge has been sped up. Your sword gauge will fill with power more quickly. And that's actually good that we got this because look at how fast you could fill up that gauge to be able to split yourself. Because we're definitely going to need that for the next dungeon. I can just tell you that. So make sure if you're not trying to 100% complete this, I still suggest that you guys get that training because you're definitely it's definitely gonna be easier on you if you do get that and again this fool oh yeah i forgot i can i can destroy rocks now okay so we're not gonna go there but i did want to get these rupees stockwell still not selling the thing what is it the um oh what is it called so I came here basically for the waterfall, but Stockwell is still not selling the the last rupee wallet. Ooh, the other waterfall is actually right here. Let's go check it out since we're already here. Might as well, because we have to make our way up north over here to get to the other side of Veil vale Falls. That's where we need to head to get to the door. But we could go ahead and fall in here, and here's this waterfall that we also- <gasps> It's another swordsman! Yes! Mastery of the sword is mastery of the soul. I am kind of like almost the best swordsman in Hyrule. Great blade. So let's train with him. Dude, I don't think you're even ready to train your- Oh no! 
Come back when you have learned the highest technique of the sword. Oh, okay. The, the highest technique. So we need two more tiger scrolls. So we're going to have to wait until we get the ability to jump higher than others. Like how swiftly. So like Swiftplay said, we have to go ahead and learn how to jump higher than others. And then we could go back and learn a new technique from him. So we're obviously going to have to wait until we finish the next dungeon. Oops, when we get the key item that helps us do that. To be able to get the next scroll. And then maybe he's going to be the last one that teaches us. And then we have to go back to that one that's that one guy who's dead at Kester and Wilds. But here is a heart over here. And there is a thing that you could dig right there, the cave. But obviously we can't get to it right now because we're going to need to fuse with somebody to put like a little shallow piece of land there. That way we're able to get up on there and dig in there. So this is the... The little door that I was talking about, it's called the Source of the Flow, and then we could go ahead and give it Gustav's Kinstone piece, and it matches perfectly. A stone door! So this is what they meant by all of that Source of the Flow business. Well, this waterfall certainly is the source of all Hyrule's water. According to King Gustav, the final element lies somewhere behind the walls. We've dawdled long enough, Link. Let's go find that element. Okay, we need our lantern. And there's some keys here. Okay, I don't see anything that's possibly like a hidden area where we can bomb walls and it'll open it up um okay so it's a lot lighter in here can i kill this guy with a boomerang i think i can yes i can okay but here this is what i was talking about this is like a little area that i will bomb just in case because it does yep it is, and it is it looks bombable Oh, it looks like it leads up to a different secret room or whatever. Okay, so first I'm gonna go ahead and head down here. Okay, no, this looks like the continuation, so we head over here. And we could open this up. And what's up the stairs? More darkness? Oh, that's this thing again! Back off, dude. And it looks like this is an indication of where you might be able to bomb something to. No, okay, so it's just like water spilling out of a crack or something. Oh, we're gonna definitely need four links to be able to get past this. So we're gonna have to come back in the future to this area. But I just gotta remember where these areas are because I know that there's another section where we need to go that has four panels. I think it's in the schoolyard in Hyrule Town. It's the school and you need to turn Minish and there's like a heart piece or something. And then also the one that's um at, at the graveyard at the Royal Valley. There's also one there where that ghost Gina is. There's like a, a cave where you could get a heart piece and you have to push like a big old boulder, but you need four links to do it. So that's another area that we have to remember to go to. No! Okay. We killed him. But! Is there something here that we need to dig out? <gasps> yes, there is! 50, 50 rupees. Oh, now I can kill these guys with ease! Yes! Oh, man. It's so good to have that ability to be able to break the rocks and stuff. It's so much easier to kill these guys with now. Thank you again so much. Really, No, he, can he hurt me. But thank you again so much. It's much appreciated. Okay, and then this, this little section... Oh, no! Oh, this little section of rocks is gonna be, like, prime fusing territory because it looks like you could fit two chests in these little empty spots where the rocks are missing. 
So we'll see in the future if that's the case. And there's another wind crest that we're gonna go ahead and activate that. That way we could get around a lot quicker. Now let's go in this cave. And there's these guys. Oh. Can I go ahead and no okay, I, I do have to definitely take their masks off. Oh, I just killed that that keys. <laughs> okay, so there's still another one over here. Oh, oh. There we go. He's dead. Okay, so should we go up here first? Let's check what's up here. It looks like that continues to where we need to go. So let's check out these really quick. This one goes down. Let's check what's down. Ah, oh, more of these. But this is another like. Oh, it's not? What the heck? It's not a like like. This one's probably. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, there we go. So are there any. Oh, there are rupees under here. Ooh. Oh, what? Were those golden rupees? No, probably not, huh? I must have been seeing things. There's no way those were golden rupees. Okay, so this is gonna be another area where you wanna remember to go to once you fuse with somebody to open up that waterfall. Let's go up and let's head up again and check what's up here. Which is another one of those things that just don't stop trying to kill us. Oh! But there's a lot of keys that are gonna die right now. After he hits me. Ah! Oh my gosh. That was so close. He almost hit us. Okay, so now the ans the question is, do we head left, the left door, or the right door? I guess right it is. <gasps> that looks like it's continuing its way up. Okay, oh, 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 oh. So which way do we go then? Oh, uh, okay, so you do have to head up the other way. So the ladder just leads up to this spot quicker, but you eventually make your way up here by going up the stairs. And then there's two ways out. The right side that we went to is the continuing, it's continuing our way up the mountain. Okay, so let's make our way over here to the right then and just make our way up still. So. And here's a big Goron. We can't talk to him? Okay. So he's just chilling there. <laughs> he's like a big old Goron. What have we here? Some kind of vortex? Well, oh, we seem to have hit a dead end. What shall we do from here? We go up. And here we are at the cloud tops. Am I still alive? Link, what were you thinking, child? You just reaped the whirlwind, as they say. We could be dead right now. But I must admit, it did the trick. Are we in the land above the clouds? Then there must be something here that can lead us to the final element. Let's go find it. Okay, so I think that maybe I should end this episode here. It's probably going to be a little bit of a shorter episode than usual. And I know we didn't do a lot. Basically, all we did today is just fused um, with the people that we need to fuse with. That we could fuse with. And um, we also went to go get to see... We got a lot of skills, thanks to... Chuck for letting us know about the guy, the swordsman in Hyrule Town, and then we also fused with other ones to open up two more swordsmen, and uh, we did learn another one, the other one doesn't want to teach us yet, but um, then we also made our way to the Cloud Tops, and which we're going to be working on in the next episode, because I do remember this is a little bit of a tedious task that we have to do up here, so I'd rather save it for tomorrow's episode, just in case it's too long. I'm, like I said, I want to give you guys a break from the longer episodes. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, your night, wherever you guys are. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!